Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Um, Friday the 13th. Ooh, today. I'm just in the uh, gym car park. Um, it's uh, just gone past 8. I've just dropped my girlfriend off at the station to go to work. Um, so I'm going to have a workout. Um, this week's gone okay so far. Um, I had a sort of a day off from everything on Monday. And then uh, been working out the rest of the week. Um, I've started a running plan in preparation for the marathon, uh, the Brighton Marathon in 14 weeks time. So I've done a 14, I'm doing a 14 week plan at the moment. And uh, not too bad at the moment, it's nice and easy. Um, pardon me, I've had a banana and it's not very, really, uh, gone down very well. Um, I haven't had breakfast or anything yet, so I'm going to the gym with a bit of an empty stomach. Um, burn more fat hopefully. Um, I, uh, yeah, it's been okay. Yesterday went for a run in the gym. I did my run in the gym and then on, um, Wednesday, I ventured outside again. I actually did the run last week with my girlfriend, but I thought I'd do another run outside. I, I want to try and do a lot of my runs outside if I can. Um, but I think maybe at the moment I might just do my runs if I can in the gym and then see how I react going outside once I've got my level of fitness up because I'm, I'm quite unfit still at the moment. I'm carrying sort of like 18 stone around me. It's sort of time yet. I need to get new shoes. Um, I've got these shoes. The shoes I'm wearing now, I still had when I ran the marathon in 2010. And granted, since then, I've done lots of running, so they're okay. But I know I need to replace my shoes because I think the tread's starting to wear on them. So I could tell the other night when I went for a run on Wednesday night that I couldn't run that far. And I think that's my fitness every day rather than my shoes. But, you know, I can feel it a lot more in my, my uh, joints um, on the pan, the pavement a little bit. And it sounds obvious. It might be sort of like psychological, but from past experience and running the marathon, I can tell that these shoes need to be replaced. Um, so I'll, I'll hopefully do that today or over the weekend, get some new trainers. Um, the charity I'm running for sent me a vouch yesterday for 10% off um, uh, Runner's Need, which is a, a shop over here. Um, so if I can find the trainers that I like, if a batch of trainers that I like, I can take and go there and, and get some money off and get them from there. Um, it's only because I found them online quite cheap. Uh, a couple of I don't really want to spend... It sounds a bit stupid. I know you should invest wisely. And maybe I will do before the marathon. You know, you obviously don't want to sort of run in shoes that I've been running before. But at the same time, I haven't really got money to spend on expensive trainers. Um, as long as they support me in the right way, then, you know, then I'm happy. I mean, I know what sort of trainers I need to, to have because I... Um, I know it turns out to have because I, I've done that thing where you measure, you get out of the bath and you, you sort of measure your footprint. Well, not measure it, but you see what sort of uh, shoe you've got. And I know I'm a mild overpronator, they call it. So um, I've looked at the shoes online just for that. So hopefully we'll find them in a shop or something. Or, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get sorted this weekend. I need to because I don't want this serious amount of training. It's going all right so far. I mean, I struggled on the run the other day. I did about 5k run, but it was a lot more walking than it was running. Like against stitches and stuff. I mean, again, stupidly before that run, I didn't really have any. Um, I had breakfast. I didn't have any lunch. I had like a light snack and went out for a run. So when I came home, I had my lunch and my dinner. <laughs> so I shouldn't, you know, again, all uh, in the learning. I won't be doing that again. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just pleased to be honest. Yeah, just be getting out there and doing that, doing being being stuff, doing stuff. Because before, obviously, last year I wasn't really active at all. So. I've done more runs this week than I would have ever done last year. Um, <laughs> proper serious runs anyway, so I'm, I'm relatively happy. So I'm going to do a workout now. On plan today is another half hour run, mix of 10 minute sort of steady run. So an easy run, then a steady run, then another easy run. Um, I'm using a Nike Plus to monitor the ones on the treadmill. Uh, I did it yesterday for the first time to see how it goes, and it worked fine. Um, I don't, I didn't really initially want to use it too much because obviously I can't. I don't know why I feel like, feel like it's cheating. It's not running that side, but I know the Nike Run, uh, Nike Plus measures indoor as well, which is good. Why I'm gonna be, um, yeah, which I think at the end of the day I'm still going for a run. There's just you know, so there's no reason why I shouldn't measure. I'm not really cheating because I'm, I'm going for a run. So, but you can see that on Nike anyway. I put down, um, you have to put down what you use. If it's like outside or indoors, so you can see it's on a treadmill. So I'm not really cheating anyone. Um, but I'd like to do more runs outside. But yeah, we're going fine. I had an interview yesterday for an ambulance company um, in London. Um, don't really want to talk too much about it. I don't really like mentioning interviews and stuff until I've got jobs. <laughs> um, 
or you know, if I've got a job and I'm going for a promotion or something, then I'd mention it. But being as I haven't got a job at all, I don't really want to um, divulge too much because, you know, I tell you, if I don't get it, but that way, if I don't get it, I don't have to document too much and go into it. I can do my grieving in peace. Um, anyway, I'll, um, I'm going to go into the gym. Got my banana skin here. I'm going to go into the gym and. Um, it's quite busy this morning here actually, there's a lot of cars going around, you can see the cars. Window steamed up. But today was the first time I had to, um, for me, over Christmas, where I had to scrape the ice off uh, my car. And uh, I've got a heated windscreen, but the uh, first time I had to do it off the science, which was, it was one, well, it's got to three now, it was one degree about half an hour ago. So Anyway, I'm waffling in, so I might do a quick video when I come out of the gym, and I'll speak to you later. Hey again, just uh, finishing the gym. Oh, I feel a bit, a bit nauseous now. I've just drank some water really quick, I think, and it's sort of uh, not selling very well at the moment. Um, I had, uh, oh yeah, I'm start. I had, um, I did a, yeah, like I said, I was going to do. I did a 10k run and a, um, not 10k run. I'm talking about a 10 minute slow run and a 10 minute fast run. And then another 10 minute slow run. Um, alongside sort of like a five minute warm up, five minute cool down as well. Um, I also did some weights this afternoon, uh, just afterwards for my legs. But I, uh, my girlfriend's still not going for a run tonight as well. So I don't, I won't um, piss my body off too much and just keep it uh, nice and uh, simple for now. Um, but still a hard workout, but still uh, tired me out. Um, yeah, so cool. Uh, I think that was settled. I have had no breakfast. I mean, I run an empty stomach today, which I don't always like doing. Um, it's good for fat loss, but I suppose you've got marathon training, you do the nutrients to uh, to build it up. It's just hard if you're training in the morning. Um, you know, I have to play around with it. If that's the case, I might have to get up really early and have some breakfast before, some porridge or something before I work out. I've had a banana, and uh, it's not. I don't think it's, that's, that's causing any problems. I've just ran for half an hour without feeling nauseous. and I, feel, I drink like a two litre bottle of water, and I'll carry it around with me. and. Um, I, it was four to start the workout, and I had a little bit left, about a, a third of it by the end. And I was just walking around the gym, just gulping it, not gulping it, sipping it down. And I think because my body wasn't ready for it, maybe I, uh, you know, I, I basically wanted to fill the water, just um, get rid of the water in the bottle, drink it up, and then fill it up for the journey home in case I want any water on the way home, get thirsty. Um, I don't like, it sounds to be a bit OCD, I don't like having a little bit of water left in it. I like to sort of drink it to the bottom, so now that I've drunk two litres and then fill it up again. But I don't think my body liked that last bit, so I'll just keep it settled. Uh, so I'm going to go home with some breakfast. Um, I'm not sure what they have today, I might have uh, an omelette, I think, with some toast or possibilities, eh? But, um, but yeah, I'm just glad, glad to come in and get it done and get the workout sort of, uh, get it done. Um, so yeah, just bumped into my girlfriend's mum and dad, they were just going in just as I was coming out. So uh, yeah, should be cool. Um, so yeah, just to keep this short and sweet today, not, um, nothing excess, just a half hour, 40 minutes. Um, and uh, look in the car park again, it's random. I mean, I, I, obviously when I, used to, I used to come just the weekends, I don't know if you used to come during the week. Um, people, the reason is that during the week it, it does get quite busy, there's a lot of people, it normally does for New Year's. Um, the weekends are going to be quite busy like this, but the other day I came in didn't like the weekend, um, early in the morning, and the car park was empty. It was full up by the time I finished sort of uh, mid morning, but um, it's quite busy in here at the moment. The cars and stuff. So this is what I'm always a big fan of. Fan of coming to the, the gym. I like it, but it's just uh, you know, I like doing my own thing. But I think now is sort of a good time to come to try and ingrain my workout, so I'm going to do weights and stuff like that. Sorry if I'm moving the camera, I'm shivering a little bit, it's quite cold now, I've come out of the gym. Um, I've got the heater going, so but not too loud, because obviously you won't be able to hear me. But, um, yeah, I just don't, obviously it's my girlfriend, the cardio is fine, you don't have to, you yeah, know, I remember when I first joined this gym, when it opened sort of 10 years ago, I think it's been, open. yeah, about 10 years ago it's open, and um, you had to queue for cardio machines sometimes, it was just uh, so busy. Um, but thankfully, you don't have to really do that even in New Year. It's not one of those things you have to do. But when it comes to doing, um, uh, oh, what do you call it? When it comes to doing uh, sort of weights and stuff, I can't always get on the. Uh, I can't always get on the uh, machines. Um, uh, sorry, machines. The uh, free weights because 
they've got what, what one set of dumbbells for every person. And they've just got some more, which I just noticed in the side room they've got a little bit more. But they've put um they've put they've got like uh yes yeah, one set of dumbbells. And if you go there in the evening, it's just uh, you know, the the weights there is so busy. I know there's a whole thing of gym etiquette and saying, yeah, I'll do a set, you do a set. But if you're on your own, you're not with like a spotter or anything like that, you know, people just sort of take the piss apart of my friends. They kind of just, you know, I've seen people like grab about five sets of dumbbells just so they can do one after the other, which is fine. But in, the, in a busy gym, you shouldn't be, when it's busy, you shouldn't be doing that. You should just put the weights back on the bench and then let other people use them and swap over if need be. Don't just take the weights and lay them all out for yourself because I think it's selfish. And uh, it really annoys me when people do that. And uh, I used to work at this gym, um, believe it or not, with a fat face, but I used to, uh, four, was it? six years ago, and I used to work at this gym. I was doing a little bit of personal training and I was doing a little bit of fitness work here. And um, basically, to start off with, before you do your personal training, you had to just work there and, um, and just do the, the menial stuff. And it used to annoy me, the map people used to leave weights on the floor, it really drives me insane. Um, that's, I know it's the same in every gym, and a lot of uh, muscle kids probably also used to be like, oh, well, you can't always be bothered, you, know, you can't always put the weights back on, you've had a hard workout. I mean, then my attitude is, you're big enough to lift the weights, you're big enough to put them back on the rack, that's the way I see it. Uh, you know, when you hear people shouting and groaning, oh, across the gym, you know, I, know, I sometimes <laughs> let out a little whimper to myself if I'm pushing myself, but I don't shout the gym down. Um, I think people do it for show and also yeah the crashing down of the weights afterwards it just shows you haven't got no control over the weights and you're lifting far too heavy than what you should be doing. I'm, I'm all for pushing people lift, lifting heavy but when it comes down to your form and technique I know you say oh you're not one to judge because it's stay you and stuff but I used to be a bit fitter than I am now um, and you know I see it every day in the gym even when I was working there the, the etiquette and also the poor um, technique people is just uh, Unbelievable. Um, another, another good example. This is sorry, waffling on, but another good example is bicep curls. You see people do bicep curls. They they're lifting them up and their backs twisting as they're doing it. That's not a bicep curl. That's exercising your lower back as well. You know what I used to do when I was personal training people. I used to tell people. I used to not be afraid of doing it. I'm not like a clever dick or anything like that. But if people are doing something wrong, I like to sort of try and point it out. And I've gone to a couple of uh, muscle heads and sort of said, "You're going to hurt your back doing that." and the weight's too heavy for you. And they sort of said to me, no, it's not. And it's like, it is. It's like, okay, and if you ever do that, good technique, good uh, trick to try. When someone's doing a bicep curl and they're leaning back, get them to stand against the wall and ask them to do a bicep curl. But as soon as you stand against the wall, it, they can't lean back then, and then it basically is all their biceps doing the work. And you watch and see if they can lift that weight then. They can't. So it just goes to show that, you know, you can't, it's just, you know, it's your back doing the work, your biceps ain't doing the work. You can do a million bicep curls like that, and all you'll end up with is a crippled back. Um, okay, cool. Right, I'm waffling on. <laughs> Quick fitness tip for you there as well. Um, but yeah, no, I enjoy. I do like enjoy the gym. I just don't like doing the weights. I think a good tip if you want to come do start doing weights, then uh, I'll be coming in the morning to do it. I won't be doing it in the evening. Um, not at the moment anyway. It's just far too busy, uh, and uh, there's a lot of selfish people in there in that gym. So, you know, majority of people are really nice, but you do get a few. Dickheads, pardon my French. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Good workout. Hope you're having a good day. Whatever you're gonna be doing, getting your workouts in, getting your runs in, and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go for a run later on as well for my sins. So I'll try and do another vlog of the weekend and let you know how I'm going. Take care, guys. Have a good one. See you later, bye.